right, super excited today. Got an eBay radio in the mail. I covered up the um, seller's name and address and my name and address because I don't want you crazy people on YouTube knowing where I live or who sold this to me. But yeah, this is a uh, eBay radio, October 148. So I'm excited. We're going to get it opened up and look at it and take it in, put it on the bench and see what's... Uh, see what's gonna shake out on it so let's get to it oh let's see there's a knife let's see if we can get this open with one hand i doubt it but we'll try it's always cool to get a well i should say new to me because the cobra 148 hasn't been made in quite some time huh but uh, it's always fun to get a eBay radio in the in the mail. So let's see. They packed it well, that's for sure. Like Christmas. Oh, there she is. All right. Let's see if we can get her out of here. Sense is for the birds. Come on, cut through there so we can get this out. Hold on a second. Okay, I just cut through that tape. We can unfurl this thing. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That is a nice looking 148. Look at that. Face paint looks really nice. It looked to be in good shape on the uh, five pin connector. It looked to be a good shape. So what is this here? This is a Malaysia build. Uh, looks like maybe 1998. Um, so yeah, she looks pretty decent. Covers look good. Not at all. So she's, uh, according to that date, if that's accurate, she's about, what, um, 24 years old. So we're probably definitely going to have to do a recap on her. That's for sure. Switches aren't stuck or anything. Yeah. It's turned off. All right, well, let's take her inside and put her on the bench and um, let's fire it up and see what, uh, what's shaking. The seller told me that there was one mod done to it. I think he said R131 was, was clipped in this. So we'll, uh, we'll check it out on the bench as is before we restore anything that's been removed just to see what see what kind of uh, condition it's in. All right, so we'll be back here shortly. All right, so here we are on the bench with this brand new to me, Cobra 148 GTO. I noticed that one of the uh, three pins on the power jack was a little bit recessed, but uh, one of them's out, far enough out. I think it'll make, uh, make okay connection. So I've got the uh, bench power supply set at one amp of uh, current, just in case something wants to pull more than that we can catch it right off the bat got a five pin cobra mic here plugged into it so let's turn it on and uh and see what happens and we're just hooked up to the antenna outside to start so we'll go ahead and power her up okay so she's off 0 0.001 amps of current currently drawn so that's good and uh, we'll turn it on all right, 0. 0.286 amps of current drawing, so that's pretty normal. That's good. And we already hear some skip out of her. Let's see, turn this up a little bit. Let's go to 38, or let's go to six. Let's go to this. So that's AM. Meter's working. 
There's the Super Bowl. They just look good so far. So she's receiving on AM. How about uh, sideband? See if you hear anything. Okay, so she's receiving, and uh, that's good. Receiving on sideband, receiving on AM. So let's go ahead and um, see how sensitive a receiver she's got. So, so we're going to take her out of uh, here, out of that outside antenna. We're going to put her into, into this uh, HP 8920A. And let's set this up. Let's see. How about uh, receive... We'll start with um, 67 dB. So we'll give her an S9 to start. AM modulation. And she should be. Let's put her to channel 19. Digits look good. So she's receiving something. That sounds like that's about one kilohertz. But the meter definitely is um, out of alignment. See, that's a, that should be an, an S9 right there. And she's pegging out at, well, I don't know, 20 dB or something like that. No big deal. But um, definitely not right. Okay, so let's uh, let's take this and put it into our sign ad. Give me a second here. Sign ad meter on the HP. All right, so we've got her hooked up to the sign ad meter. Can you hear that tone? Yeah. So there's, well, I mean, it's one micro, or that's 100 microvolts minus 67 dB. So, of course, it's going to be strong. All right, so let's knock that down to one microvolt and see what we get. All right, so there's one microvolt. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. 19 dB of synad at one microvolt. Nothing to complain about there on receive. That's our meter showing. So our meter showing about what it should be. All right, let's uh, push the input signal down to say minus 120. We'll just jump straight up there. All right, so now we're at minus 20 and we're holding about 10 or 11. Let's see if we can make that any better with some volume. Not really. All right, so at minus 120, she's doing about 10 dB of synad. Let's go back to minus 118. All right, so there it is, 12, 13 dB of synad at minus 118 on lower sideband. Okay, let's go back to minus 170 dB, one microvolt. And let's go back to just an AM input. I'm gonna turn this back to AM and see what she's doing there for. All right, so she uh, she's got some room for improvement on on uh, receive for sure. So she's not even able to do 12 dB of synod at one microvolt. So definitely some room for improvement. All right, well we know. Let's uh, kick up our power supply a little bit. And we want to test transmit now, right? 
We know what she's doing on receive. Let's look at. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me turn that off. Turn off the A and L. No, it didn't make any difference. She's still doing the same thing. Okay, so let's uh, let's take this out of there. Mike, let's put in this. Transmit over here. I really like these HP uh, 8920s. They're pretty cool to work with. All right. Let's set this up. AMD modulation. And we might as well set up our spectrum analyzer while we're at it. And we'll set it for five channels wide so it'll be five channels wide there 50 kilohertz okay let's go back to just receive and we're going to just dead key here we're going to watch and see what we see all right so we're on channel 19 27.1850 megahertz and she's got 1.38 watts of output power and that's just with a dead key. Let's see what she swings up to. There's our signal. Now she swings up to 14. It sounds like something's modded to me. But she's pretty close to being on frequency. All right. Let me uh, take off that tone again. And we're going to play around with... Um, I'm going to play around with the uh, external switches, see if anything's been messed with as far as, like, output power. No, it's not on the uh, SWR Cal. Uh, squelch. No, no change there. Uh, mic's all the way up. Okay, so there's nothing. Bright dim switch, which does work, by the way. Just messing with that transmit light does work so she is transmitting that's another good sign at least all right so nothing's changing our output power it must just be an internal adjustment or something done internally all right so let's uh so now she's not key and we're going to add our one kilohertz tone at 30 millivolts again and let's look at her on the spectrum analyzer and see how clean it looks okay so first we'll just be a dead key all right, so there's our dead key. And let's add our one kilohertz tone. Oh yeah, that does not look good. Let's go down to 30 kilohertz. Uh, yeah, 30 kilohertz span. Three channels wide. Oh my gosh. Now that's with the mic gain completely uh, maxed out. Let's go ahead and dial that mic game back and see if we can clean that up. All right, so we're dialing it back now. So I have the mic gain turned down all the way up, no, just barely, uh, maybe. So if all the way getting down to say is about seven o'clock, this is about eight o'clock and it's already getting trashy. Yeah, it's definitely got a clip modulation circuit for sure so we'll see if it's just the r131 once if we get the case open all right so let's take a look at uh we'll take that key off let's put it into the uh oscilloscope Over here all right we'll put it in the oscilloscope and we'll look at that am waveform up here all right here we go one kilohertz tone AM. Oh wow, yeah, that looks that looks horrible, absolutely horrible. All right, so I'm turning down the mic gain again. Let's see if we can ever get to the point where we got a decent waveform. Oh, so oh yeah, so it, look at that. You, I mean that's yeah, that's right there is about seven o'clock on the fully counterclockwise. About seven o'clock. Here's about. 7.30, 8 o'clock, and it's already getting pinched in the negatives. Yeah, that does not look good. Okay. 
Uh, let's do a two-tone test. How about that? We'll go over here and we'll set up for a two-tone test. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, we'll just go with, let's see, standard two-tone test. Bear with me, it just takes a little bit to set up. That's why I usually don't do it on camera. Alright, frequency. We'll do 700 hertz. Alright, I'm over here now. I'll pull it. Okay, so now we're set up for a two tone test. We're just going to use the standard. 1900 and 700 hertz uh, there's other frequencies i use too every one of them makes a little bit of a difference actually uh, but anyway um so we're set up for a two-tone test let's see what she looks like as far as sideband linearity my gain is going to be completely maxed out again we've got it full clockwise and here it is oh that looks absolutely horrible horrible Jesus. So I'm turning, I'm dialing back the, the mic gain now. Yeah, that looks just. All right, so there we got mic gain all the way down, full counterclockwise. Here again is about, there's about eight o'clock. Yeah. Horrible. Okay. Not a big deal. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, let's look at, let's go back to a um, standard one-tone test. Turn that off. Come on. There we go. And we'll go back to just one kilohertz. And we're going to put that into our freak counter and we'll just look at what sideband frequencies look like and we'll see if we got an unlock clarifiers while we're at it okay so we are on lower sideband right now let's see what she's doing okay so she's 27 on 185 930 holy cow I'm turning the clarifier knob She's not changing. She is way off frequency on lower side, man. Way off frequency. All right, let's look at... Uh, she, she's actually on lower. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, hey, no, that's upper. That's upper side, man. Okay, so she's not that far. She's about 70 hertz off on upper. I, I was thinking I was in uh, lower mode. I'm not. All right, so now let's look at uh, lower and see what she's doing. All right, here's lower. It's about 100 hertz off on lower, and the clarifier is not unlocked. All right, so that's that. Let's look at uh, just AM and see how far off she is there. All right, here goes AM, just an AM dead key. And she is at, she's 100 hertz off there as well. Okay. I guess we'll just get the case open and we'll look and see what we can see in there real quick. All right, give me a second. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back with um, this new eBay acquisition. She's powered up right now. And just looking at this, she definitely was stored inside in a nice climate-controlled environment. The glue here is super gummy. It looks like it's brand new. Look at that. Super gummy. I don't like taking glue out, folks. Sorry. If it's not if it's not hard, I don't take it out. I don't see the point. This stuff, this glue looks like it was just put in here yesterday. Easy to get out right now if I wanted if I wanted to take the time to do it, but so she's also got an RCI 8719 in here. And uh, yes, we'll see if we can zoom in on it here. R131 is clipped. Let's see if I can find it. Um can I find it in here? It's right, right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's, you can see it clipped in half, right there. So we'll, we'll get that replaced. 
And if I had to guess, looking at this 1000 microfarad cap here, um, it says wind cap, so that's probably the original, being this is a 98, it's probably the original electrolytic caps that came in here. So do we want to swap those out? Uh, I don't know. I might just see if we can just align this thing and um, change out R131 there. Get that swapped out. TR24 is in, but the seller did say that when he bought it, um, TR24 was clipped out and he said that got um, put back in by either him or somebody. Uh, so that's good. But we, we can stick R131 back in there and see if we can make sure that our our um, modulation circuit is is back to to stock we'll check that uh looks like the bias circuit has not been messed with here with an am low low power mod tied to the power jack so that's good um, i mean overall this board is in really good shape I don't see really anything to complain about. Could just upgrade a couple of caps in here. Change a couple of cap values out. Uh, but yeah, she looks really nice inside. She's nice and clean. Uh, and I, I don't think I'll have to cut into here to do anything with the display. The display looks good. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just uh, fix that R131. So let's flip on the soldering iron here. Get the old Haku fired up. We'll get R131 swapped out and see if we can restore um, our modulation circuit. And then we'll just go ahead and do a transceiver alignment on it and see if we can get that receive a little bit better, get those transmit um, frequencies on AM, upper and lower sideband looking good, and go from there. All right, we'll be back here in a little bit. All right, so we got a new R131 installed. Here's our old one. Leads here, just clipped in half, just fell out of there. Once we desoldered it, and then there's the leads for the new one. But uh, yeah, we'll get her uh, turned back over and we'll see if we restored that uh, modulation limiter and then we'll move on to an alignment. So we'll be back here in a second. Okay, so we're back, we got her flipped back over and let's take a look at uh, what she's gonna do now with a reinstalled limiter circuit or repaired limiter circuit. So now you see she's only doing four and a half watts with while she's modulating on AM as opposed to 14 that she was doing, 81% modulation. So let's take that and put it into a scope here and look up here. So there's our modulation and our mic gain is completely maxed out. So we've got some adjustments to do. So here is completely counterclockwise and here is completely clockwise on dynamite. So it makes no difference. So we've got some adjustments. Let me get her turned back over and uh, we'll see if we can't uh, get that squared away real quick before we do an alignment. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and uh, here's our modulation adjustment right here vr7 this is actually this pot's actually not in the sam's manual it doesn't even list it uh i don't know maybe the original uh was taiwan made um 148 i think they were originally made in taiwan maybe they didn't come with that that uh vr pot in there but anyway so we made some adjustments to uh our am power back here you can see and that's uh what is that that's our vr10 way back here in the corner and we made some adjustments here and uh so let's look at dead key now so where's my this? okay so now here our dead our dead key is at 3.55 on the or 3.6 on the 8920 and we'll go ahead and give it some modulation and now we're swinging back up to 13 watts peak, which is great. We were at 14 watts peak with a cut limiter, so I'd, I'm happy about that. 
Uh, let's just look at her on, on the uh, leader over here. So right now you see no modulation. She's at four watts over here. And we'll add the uh, tone, modulate. And she's moving forward just a little bit. Not back swinging, so I'm happy with that. And now here's our waveform on a scope. That looks nice. Looks really nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let me unkey that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the uh, alignment procedure and go from there. We'll see if we can uh, get her aligned, get the PLL circuit nice and, and tight, and then see if we can then adjust our uh, sideband transmit and get her linear and all that happy stuff. So we'll be back here shortly. All right, so we got our PLL circuit, uh, synthesizer circuit aligned, and uh, now we were able to align uh, and get uh, the sideband uh, linear on output. So we're over here in the uh, spectrum analyzer. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So we're looking at that far right indication there. We're on the 150 watt scale and we're, we're putting out what, like I've said before about what the max they'll all do um, peak on sideband if they're aligned properly and that's 20 watts, what she's doing. And uh, let's take a look at her on the scope. And we'll see that she's linear. And you see the mic is completely maxed out there. Down the mic, mic gain completely maxed out. And look up here. Uh, where's my switch? Oh, here we go. So we're doing a two-tone test here. And there she is, looking great. Nice and linear on side, man. Looks awesome. Okay, so now let's... Uh, Let's move on to the receive and see if we can't get this uh, receive here in a little bit better and maybe a cap upgrade after that and then we'll be probably finished. All right, we'll be back here shortly with another. I'll go ahead and align it and then we'll do a, a Synad test. You know what it did in the beginning. Uh, I don't even think it held, what, 10 dB of Synad, one microvolt on AM. So we're gonna see if we can I increase that as well as um, increasing the sensitivity on sideband and we'll uh, we'll show that here in a second after I get the receiver line all right we'll be back all right so we got the receiver where I'm pretty happy with it so I'm going to show it to you so right now we are in AM I had to think for a second and we're at one microvolt uh, minus 107 dBm. Before we were just barely pulling out 910 dB of synad, and now we are at uh, about 14 dB of synad at one microvolt. So we made a, a good improvement there, and I'm happy with that. So let's go to uh, let's go to the lower side, man. And we'll look at it there. So we'll go to lower. All right, so now we're in lower, and you see we are at, uh, looks like 20 dB, or over over 20 dB of Synad. It's floating around there at one microvolt. So let's push it down to where we were before, which was 118. And that was 12 dB. I think that's what it was. And we are at 16 dB of Synad now, I'm almost 18. So let's go to minus... 122 oh yeah big improvement we're still at 14 db of synad at minus 122 so we made a good improvement there let's go minus 125 how about that okay so she just fell under 12 db of synad at minus 125 so yeah big improvement on re on the receiver so this is going good i think uh i think she's in good shape now um so we're we got a good um, modulation presentation now after putting an R one thirty one on AM. We're we've got an aligned uh, PLL synthesizer circuit. And we've got side band output is nice and linear. And we're putting out twenty watts, and now our receiver is way above factory or industry standard. And I guess we'll just do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and while the iron's still on here keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead and change out this main filter cap and then the uh, 
AM regulator cap, and I think we'll just call it uh, call it good. So let me go ahead and get that done real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back, and we got a cap upgrade done. So we pulled out uh, these two caps here. Actually, both uh, 1,000 microfarad. This was the main filter cap at 25 volts, and then this was the AM regulator cap at 16 volts so what i did was just put a 2200 microfarad cap here and then this is still a 1000 microfarad cap but now it's a 25 volt so uh the only thing we haven't done i guess is just listen to it on the air so we got the monitor radio on what mode is that in up there uh she is in am mode all right uh am mode so let's hear what she sounds like on the air Check, 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 check. One, two, check, one, two. We got a good swing on the needle. Oh, you know what? I forgot to... I need to look at that S9. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, how about lower? Okay, lower on the monitor radio. Check, one, two. Check, 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 one, two. Check, one, two. Does not sound bad. All right, let's just look at upper real quick. Oh, all right, upper... Check, one, two, check, 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 one, two, one, two. All right, well, she sounds all right there, too. Okay, so um, S9, I didn't look at that. Let me uh, let me come right back. Let me get this thing flipped over, and we'll just go ahead and adjust that real quick, and I'll show you, and then we'll, we'll be back. All right, so we're back with a minus 67 dBm, 100 microvolts, which is an S9, and we have, that's actually... Uh, lower side band 27.18400 megahertz. I already adjusted the AM one, but they both needed adjusting. They were way over what they should be. They're both reading like 20 dB. So here you go. There's your uh, S9 on lower side band. Just trust me, AM is identical to this on the meter. All right, so let me go ahead and get her uh, buttoned up and turned over. So we'll be back here in a second. All right, so we got a little bit of skip here. Not much today, or at least not right now. So it's kind of hard to tell, but she is. Her clarifier is dead center, and she's pretty. She's pretty well on frequency, from what I've been hearing so far. Yeah, let me turn this down. Okay, so yeah, she's a. Uh, She's all she's all finished. Um, that's our that's our little pile of parts. That's all we really needed to do to her. Just a couple of caps, which we you know didn't need to do, and just one resistor, and uh, that was it. And uh, and of course a transceiver alignment, and she is rocking. Yeah, she's doing real well. Um, I don't know. I might end up recapping it. I mean, it's a 1998, so it's not like it's ancient. Usually the ones I've been getting off eBay have been, you know, built in the 80s. And that's, that's a no-brainer. It's an instant recap as soon as I get it. But um, this, I don't know. Um, I plan on changing out this display for a blue LED. And then I'll put a blue meter light in and a white meter background over here. Uh, maybe when I do that, I'll just go ahead and recap it at the same time. That could be just another video I'll do. I'm just waiting for some blue lens covers to show up. They probably won't be here for another week. Uh, but uh, all in all, hey, this was a, a great eBay find. She's in really, really great shape. The chrome looks good. The faceplate looks good. The covers look good. And now she operates really well. So I uh, can't complain. So, uh, yeah, 73s to everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you later.